Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and if you're hearing some background noises, I'm back in my old after work spot where I used to do the videos where everyone was always saying they heard goats. I have no idea what, there's a bicycle. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, I haven't done a video in like 24 hours. It feels really, really odd. Um, but uh, so I wanted to do a video on Jawbreakers Lost Souls Indiegogo <laughs> campaign since uh, you guys probably haven't heard me talk about that. Uh, but more specifically, I haven't done a uh, specific video about it in a while. I've just kind of talked about it in the beginning, middle, or end of uh, talking about other stuff. But um, I'm going to go uh, check into my hotel and then go to... Uh, I think I'm probably going to go to the Midtown Comics in Times Square and then check out Times Square. It's actually really not that cold, which is good because I only brought a hoodie. But anyway, just wanted to give an update on everything that's happening with uh, good old jaw, uh, Jawbreakers Indiegogo. So we're at like 77,000 right now. Um, next stretch goal is 90,000. So I'm doing this video mainly to announce the next stretch goal, even though I announced it on Twitter and in a video. But I like buried the announcement <laughs> in a one hour and 40 minute uh, video where I talked about a million things. There we go. We got the sirens everything okay great so uh with the jawbreakers indiegogo <laughs> uh kicks or indie uh lo jawbreakers lost soul hard to concentrate there's a lot of things i'm not i'm having sensory overload right now um but uh anyway i can see the tip of the chrysler building from here anyway squirrel so uh jawbreakers lost soul 50 pages uh, now has an exclusive Ethan Van Skyver cover that was, uh, uh, the, I believe, the $60,000 uh, stretch goal. There was a $10,000 stretch goal to make it square bound cardstock, but now it's so big it is a legitimate trade paperback or graphic novel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, right now it's rocking in at 25 pages no it's actually 80 pages because it's 50 pages for jawbreakers lost souls by john malin and brett smith and me um then we got jawbreakers book two completely new art basically by uh kelsey shannon that's never been seen by anyone and then uh five pages of community fan art that was the seven so uh kelsey shannon was the 70,000 Jawbreakers book two for 25 pages was a $70,000 stretch goal. Uh, 75,000 was a community fan art uh, gallery. So there's uh, five different pieces. One of them looks to be like a double page spread. It's going to be crazy. Um, uh, so that brings it up to, uh, oh God, math, 80? <laughs> and then uh, just announced this yesterday, the, and you're, gonna, you're seeing the art right here. Jawbreakers Book 1 Remastered. So I did Jawbreakers Book 1 for a Kickstarter, and that was it. 32 pages like three years ago, but I was never happy with the art because uh, I did it. But, but I showed it to people to roast like a year ago on the channel. People tended to like the story. They just didn't like the art. So this guy, Simon Bennett, uh, a couple days ago, he sent me an art test. He goes, what do you think about this style? By coincidence, even though I don't talk about it a lot, I'm a huge fan of Tom Scioli. He did uh, Godland. Uh, he did uh, basically all, all the art and writing, most of the writing for uh, G.I. Joe Transformers, which is probably the best G.I. Joe book IDW ever did. Uh, and uh, so this guy Simon showed me a way to uh, basically, uh, he remastered my Jawbreakers book one art. Uh, he basically re-inked it in digital pencil and then completely recolored it and he even tweaked like the, the colors on the dialogue. So that's 32 pages. So this book that started as, you know, 48 uh, pages is now including the gallery, the, the yeah, it's including the community art gallery, 112 pages. So the things, so uh, uh, I had some friends tell me, they're like, hey, you need to you need, you need to make it clear why they should get this now and not wait for it to be in stores. I also want people to buy it in the stores. That's why I'm not doing a digital. Basically, the people who wish there was a digital, that's the people I want to buy the version in stores. Um, so the one, you know, one of the good things about this Indiegogo is you're going to get the community art gallery that's not going to appear in, in the other versions of this. You're going to get... 
all of the Jawbreaker stories that exist right now in one book, and you're going to get the exclusive uh, Ethan Van Skyver <coughs> cover. So it's a really good deal. <laughs> it's it's such a good deal. I actually have to stop with the good deals right now, or I'm just going to break even. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's got to be some shekels left for left for. Uh, work over here at the end of the day um, but anyway so yeah just a quick little video in my old uh, I bet the wind kind of sucks on this audio uh, bringing you up to speed on Jawbreakers Lost Souls uh, um, and uh, oh yeah and I did a little trouble ticket into Indiegogo to find out what's up with that discrepancy in totals if you go to the main page it'll say like 77,000 but if you go to next to my name and then click more it shows like 1,500 more. Well, I guess what? Yeah, you click more and then it shows more money. Um, it shows a, a different total, a higher total for the campaign. So I got a trouble ticket in with them to figure out. What I think it might be is I think the, the higher total is every dollar ever pledged. But some people, you know, there's cancellations or people lower their tier. So I, th I think that's what it was. Um, but I got a trouble ticket in with them. Um, besides that, all, all the pledges in the last... 24 hours uh, uh, went through um, just fine and all the ones before uh, so don't worry about your um, uh, pledges but um, yeah so very excited to get to this 90,000 what is this Monday let's say by Friday if we could hit it by Friday that would be crazy because then we're in the last that would then we would have Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday and that's where you know the campaigns coming to an end and it's very exciting, and things ramp up right there. I want to get past 100,000 for the, you know, for the uh, message to the industry and just the general success of it. <laughs> anyway, but thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have <laughs> been playing video games, listen to this video or driving, uh, hit a save point, uh, uh, pull over, and look at the art. So what what, what you're going to see is the uh, four pages done by Simon already. On the left, you're going to see my. Uh, what does my son say? 1990s, 1980s bodybuilders playing freeze tag uh, style. And then you see how much better it gets from Simon Bennett. So it's, you're going to get that whole uh, book. So anyway, uh, thanks for uh, watching. And I'm going to go to the comic store after I check in my hotel and get uh, uh, Domino number one. And hopefully Dead Man number five too. Thanks for watching. Bye.